Hello dear friends, welcome in Pharmaceutical Chemistry to Laboratory. Myself, Mrs. Urmila Ravindra Gauri, MPAM in Quality Assurance. Today we are going to deal with synthesis. Experiment number 26, title, to synthesize picric acid from phenol and to find out its percent practical yield and melting point. Learning objective, after watching this video, student will able to learn intellectual skill, that means to understand the concept of experiment, to understand the precautions, to plan the experiment and to perform calculation. Motor skill, ability to handle equipment, take and record observation, ability to work according to plan of the experiment and ability of group working. New concept, proposition first, nitration. Nitration is the process in which hydrogen atom is replaced by nitro group NO2, phenol being an activated nucleus towards electrophilic aromatic substitution in nitration. Sulfonation or halogenation reaction occurs very slowly. It undergoes nitration with dilute nitric acid even at a room temperature. Phenol when treated with concentrated nitric acid in presence of Concentrated sulfuric acid undergoes nitration at both ortho and para position to give picric acid. It is better if phenol is first converted to phenol sulfonic acid by the treatment with sulfuric acid and then nitrated with concentrated nitric acid. When the sulfonic acid SO3H group are replaced by nitro group. Synthesis Proposition 2 It is a process in which new product with unique structural formula, molecular weight and melting point is produced with chemical reaction. Proposition 3 Purification Purification is the process of removing impurities from the product. Purification of the product includes application of recrystallization, washing and drying of the product in a oven at a definite temperature for desired period of time. This is the assembly of Bunsen flask, funnel and the flask and it is used for purification purpose. Proposition 4. Recrystallization. Recrystallization is the process in which compound is dissolved in selected solvent with heating and then cooled slowly to a saturated solution from which pure compound is crystallized out. Proposition 5. Yield. It is a quantity of the product obtained in a synthesis. They are theoretical yield, practical yield and percentage yield. Theoretical yield, the weight of the product that one should get based upon stichometric quantity of the reagent, assuming 100% completion of the reaction. Practical yield, the weight of the product actually obtained after the purification of the product. Percentage yield, it is calculated from the formula percent yield is equal to practical yield divided by theoretical yield into 100. Now general concept structure. It involves theory, then synthesis, then purification of that synthesized compound by using filtration or washing or activated charcoal treatment or recrystallization. From this we get a yield a product and for that we have to determine melting point. Apparatus use for the practical glassware, flat bottom, bottom flask, condenser, beaker, bunsner, flask and funnel, vacuum pump, measuring cylinder, graduated pipette, thylst tube and capillary. Chemicals, phenol, concentrated sulfuric acid, concentrated nitric acid, alcohol, water mixture, twice to one and ice. This is a chemical reaction which involved in the synthesis, nitration, in which this is the phenol which is react with sulfuric acid and concentrated nitric acid. The reactive hydrogen is replaced by nitro group and it yields picric acid that means 246 trinitrophenol that having molecular weight 229. Now for actual synthesis, we move towards laboratory. Welcome dear student in our pharmaceutical chemistry to laboratory. Today we are going to deal with systemic uh, synthesis of picric acid from phenol. Uh, we already discussed the theory related synthesis. So 
we are going to directly start with the procedure. First of all, we have to wait 4 gram of phenol or if uh, it is liquefied then 5 ml of phenol and put it into the 500 ml of flat bottom flask. Into this, we have to add now 5 ml of concentrated H2SO4 that is previously weighed. For this synthesis, we require constant stirring so that we use this magnetic stirrer with the magnet at a, uh, RPM 250 RPM. Reaction between phenol and concentrated H2SO4 it is an exothermic reaction, therefore, the solution becomes warm during the reaction. We have to heat, this is the heat knob with the uh, help of this, we adjust 30 degrees Celsius so the plate becomes hot. And at 30 degrees Celsius, we, we have to heat this solution for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, the reaction completed and here phenol sulfonic acid get formed. We have and the solution is warm uh, so that we require ice cold water to cold it. So put this solution into directly ice water bath so the solution become cool and after cooling this solution we have to put into this 15 ml of concentrated nitric acid so nitration reaction takes place. Place the flask on wooden cupboard in fume cupboard and add immediately 15 ml of concentrated nitric acid and mix thoroughly by the shaking few seconds. A vigorous reaction takes place and harmful red, harmless red nitrous fumes come out from the flask. After reaction we have to uh, heat this solution for 1 to 2 hours with constant stirring. After cooling we got crystalline mass. Crystalline mass is obtained and after purification by 50 ml of cold water we got a product and that will again recrystallize by alcohol water mixture to S21 we got this mixture after filtration a picric acid is obtained now dry this precipitate in oven and take its melting point the practical yield of the recrystallized compound is 2.93 gram and the uh, melting point of the compound is 120 degrees Celsius. After performing the synthesis, we got some observation. Amount of phenol taken for synthesis 4 gram, practical yield of recrystallized product 4.97 gram, 93 gram and melting point of the product is 120 degrees Celsius. Calculation theoretical yield of the product as from the reaction 94 grams of phenol gives 229 grams of picric acid, 4 gram of phenol will gives 9.74 grams of picric acid. Therefore, percentage practical yield can be calculated by percent yield is equal to practical yield divided by theoretical yield into 100. Put values into this formula so that we get the percent practical yield. Practical yield is 4.93 divided by theoretical yield 9.74 into 100 is equal to 50.62 percent. Result percent yield of picric acid is 50.62 percent and the melting point of the picric acid is 120 degrees Celsius. Thank you dear student for attending the practical session. Thank you.